The Ender 3 Pro has a fundamental issue involving the alignment position of the Z motor. Mainly that it's not adjustable at all, and due to the Ender 3 being a budget printer, sometimes they're just manufactured in a way that is just slightly off, and that can kind of throw off your prints and cause a few problems here and there. I looked around on the internet, and I couldn't find anything in particular that I thought was a suitable fix, so I took it upon myself to make something to fix it, and this is it. I designed this two-piece print as a simple way to correct the horizontal positioning for the Z-axis motor. By mounting the motor to the 4040 extrusion on the bottom, we can move the motor as far forward or backward as we want. A lot of times I see people putting shims between the stock mounting and the vertical 2040 to move this just a little bit further back, or even sanding down that mount in order to move it a little more to the front, because it's just not a perfect alignment out the gate. Once you have it locked into the position you want forward and backwards, you can then move the motor left or right to really dial in that perfect position. That way, your lead screw should no longer be wobbling in any direction as you move the gantry up and down. So let's demonstrate real quick the issue that we were having beforehand that we can hopefully now correct for. The Z-axis lead screw is actually in a pretty good position, but that's because we can adjust it now. If I were to move it into, let's say, the stock position... Whoops, that's not good. See, there's a lot of play that could be in the lead screw. And unless you can correct for it, uh, <laughs> well, that's going to be an issue. The Sender 3 has dual Z-axis rods, and unfortunately, they are connected to a single stepper driver in this case. So, both of them are getting the same exact signal from the same exact stepper driver at the same exact time. Now, Mechanically speaking, if they are not both in the same orientation, then one side of the gantry is going to move upwards and downwards at a different rate than the other side. And that's where we start to get some Z-axis issues. Now, it is kind of hard to see because this is black anodized aluminum and this is a black Teflon coated lead screw. So I apologize for that contrast issue. But... Hopefully, we won't see any wobbling as we move upwards in the Z-axis direction once we have our Z-axis motor perfectly aligned. So we're going to go up. You can see some wobble. But if we move it a little bit more... Ooh, that's getting better. I like that. That's a lot less wobble. All right. Let's give it another shot. See how much wobble we got. I think we're a little too far to the one side. Go right about here. Let's see. As this comes back down, what's our wobble looking like? I'm going to have to play around with it a little. This is a bit of trial and error at the moment. Ooh. You're getting close there, but you get the idea. You keep playing with it until you get it just right. All right, we've got everything aligned in the exact position I want down here, and this is perfect. But there is one small issue. After playing around with this entire system, going up and down quite a bit and looking very closely at everything, I noticed something. The mount for the lead screw nut is not a perfectly 90 degree angle. <laughs> it should be going straight up and then 90 degree out, but it's not. It's actually kind of bent upwards like this, which means there's always going to be a bias for the motor to be pushed backwards a little bit. It shouldn't have a problem being flush up against the 2040 extrusion, but I wonder how many people have realized this particular component was not manufactured exactly right. I mean, Look, Creality is a budget printer manufacturer. There's going to be some small hiccups along the way, but uh, that could explain why when we have it perfectly non-wobbly down here, as it goes up, it starts to wobble just a tiny bit regardless of the position 
that we have the motor in. I'm going to print another one of these, put it on the other side, do the same process, and bada-bing, bada-boom, we should have a solution.